This uh, second section in here, we talk about imperial measurement. The first uh, section we did was SI measurement, or met the metric system, which you're more familiar with. This you're probably less familiar with. I don't know how, how many of you uh, are familiar with this. Last time when, we, when you did some measuring with uh, imperial rulers and tape measures and stuff, um, hopefully you gained a little bit of understanding about how they're set up. The imperial system is not based on base 10 like the metric system. The metric system, I think, was developed a lot later in history than the imperial system. Imperial measurements are often just based on everyday things, right? Like a foot is the, you know, sort of the length of an average person's foot, you know, an inch. Uh, the, word, um, the word inch in a lot of language is the same as the word thumb. I think in French it's uh, pouce for both, thumb and inch, because I think that's where that comes from, although there's some maybe some controversy, or maybe that that's not certainly where it comes from. Um, a yard is like maybe the, the length of an average person's pace. It isn't that, it isn't like the metric system where there's one base unit and everything else is just 10 times more, 10 times less, 100 times. Um, it's all these measurements are all, each one is based on an everyday thing. The metric system's nice. Why do you, why do you guys like the metric system? Because I think if I, I should ask you, which one do you like better? Most of you are going to say, I'm more comfortable with the metric system. Why do you think that is? What do you think? You don't have to use fractions. It's all base 10. It's decimal. And uh, you don't have to use fractions because, again, there's one basic unit. And then you just say, well, the next one up, a kilometer is just a 1,000 of those. And then the next one up or the next one down. Here you have an inch, a foot, and a yard that are all... The, the size they are for a certain reason because it's the size of a pace or a foot. Like the, all those all those measurements developed independently and then someone said, well, if we put them together, how are we going to do this? Well, let's say that a foot is 12 of these because that's about what it is, right? And let's say that a yard is three of these and let's say that a mile is how many of these. You have to try and put them all together after and that's why the numbers are not so nice. So we'll, we'll put down some conversions here first. Uh, between units in the imperial system. You actually have this on one of the handouts that I gave you. Um, but we can put them here. Let's put the ones that we know here, right? One foot is equal to 12 inches. Now, you might say that you don't like that because 12, why couldn't it just be 10? It's a lot easier. For some things, 12 is easier. If you're working with construction, 12 is actually easier than 10. Or if you're working with a lot of things, why why might 12 be a ni nicer number than 10? What do you think? What can you divide 10 by nicely? 5 and 2. Well, in 10, I guess, but 5 and 2. What can you divide 12 by nicely? 2, 3, 4. You can divide it by a lot of things, right? Or 12, obviously. You can divide it by three nicely, which a lot of times you need to do that. So, it, I mean, in some ways, 12 is a nice nice number for working with like that. Um, the other way you can write a foot is, uh, do you know which the little really abbreviated way uh, to write one foot is? Yeah, well, a foot is the one little line, and um, the inches are two little lines for some reason. Um, what else do we want to know here? One yard. One yard is three feet. Uh, the bigger ones here, one mile, which is one you should be familiar with. One mile is, how many yards is a mile? Anybody know? Half the time I can't even remember this. It is 1,760 yards. Again, this is not a very nice number, right? It would be nice if it was, you know, I, I know that you think, well, it would be nice if it was 2,000 or, or whatever. And one mile is also then how many, whoops, how many uh, feet is it? Five thousand, three times that much, right? Three times as much, 5,280. Now, this one is the one that I always think, why isn't this 5,000? It's so close to 5,000. Why couldn't they have just made it 5,000? It would be really nice. 
I think there's the the history says that actually the Romans decided a mile was going to be five thousand, but then the the British had the British had a couple different things. They had they had something called a furlong. You know what a furlong is? There are eight of them in a mile. It apparently comes from the, the the distance that your horse can plow before it has to take a rest, or something like that. Like I mean, this is where a lot of these measurements come from, right? So, uh, but they wanted to make the two measurements match up, and they decided on their measurement, which was like this was 660 feet or something like that, and we times it by eight, you get this weird number. So, again, the, the numbers are weird just because. That's the way it works. Before you had, you know, the metric system, and before you even wrote numbers as decimals and everything, there isn't necessarily that same argument for having all those powers of ten. But we're going to use these conversion factors here to work with some numbers in the imperial system, just to make sure we're familiar with it before we start doing any problems with it. All right. So I, I, I just came up with some measurements here that we're going to try and convert between different things. Probably the first use of, or first thing you've done with the metric system is do uh, things like your height and other measurements, maybe that are given in inches and converting it to feet and inches. I'm going to show you how to do it like with a proportion and with unit analysis. But I think for this, you might just have in your head, just visualize a tape measure and think about those numbers. Really to be able to do this, you, you have to just know your multiples of 12. On a tape measure, if this is your tape measure here and it's all stretched out here, this is zero. 12 inches is also going to say one foot, right? Two feet is going to be 24. Three feet is going to be 36. You really should, it, it, it would be really helpful to know your multiples of 12. What's the next one here? 48. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence here, but 60. 72, and I'm out of room, but what would the next one be? I'll write them down the side here. 84, just add on 10 and add on 2, right? 96, what's the next one? 108. At this range, if you're a hockey player, you might know it just because of skate lace lengths, right? This is, this is skate lace lengths. They go by 12 inches at a time. Anyways, 132, 144. Um, I should, I, I'm only saying that because I was just buying some skate laces and for the life of me I can never remember which one I'm supposed to buy, but I figured out, figured it out eventually. But anyways, the reason that that's helpful is because if you, if you want to convert 107 inches to feet in inches, if you know these numbers, you can do it without really doing, you can kind of just do it in your head. How many feet, and if you said it's this many feet, this many inches, what is 107? Well, it's, I guess you have to know what multiple this is, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet. And how many extras? It's not quite nine feet. So it's eight feet, 11 inches. You could, of course, write it as eight with the one tick mark and 11 with the two tick marks if you want. If you know your multiples of 12, you can do it that way. If you, if you, uh, if you can't, the other way to do it is, you, you know, using a calculator. If you do 107 inches times one foot, remember, so remember a unit analysis, you multiply by a fraction that's equal to one. You're going to multiply by a fraction that's equal to one here. And to decide what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom, you want to get rid of the inches. So where do I put those? Top or bottom? There. The reason it goes there is because then it, when I cancel this, and I'm going to put feet up here. If I if I uh, put that there, 12 inches, 1 foot, I basically know that when I cancel that, I'm going to be left with feet. That tells you you got to divide by 12. I know you realize you have to divide by 12. If you do 107 times 1 divided by 12, or just 107 divided by 12, it'll give you a decimal for how many feet you have. So on your calculator, if you would like to do that, because you should be able to do it both ways, just by thinking of the tape measure and by using a calculator. 
Because, you know, if somebody gives you 5,000 inches, you're not going to think about the tape measure. 107 <coughs> times 1 divided by 12, right? Times 1 12th, or divided by 12. Yeah, it gives you that. How does that help you now? I mean, it's it's 8.92 feet, right? If you want it as a decimal, 8.92 feet. If you want to figure out how many inches it is left over, oops, what you need to do is you need to get rid of this eight and just use the decimal. Okay? If you want to, if you want to figure out how many inches that leftover part is, one way to do it is to say get rid of the eight, leave the decimal part, and then multiply it by twelve again to convert it back to inches. Right? So basically, you're dividing by twelve to see how many feet it is getting rid of the whole number of feet and then putting it back to inches to see how many it's left over, right? So all I did is divide by 12, get the number of feet, times by 12, see how many inches are left over. This is one way to do it. This is not the only way to do it, but it's one way to do it. You might have a calculator that will do that for you when you, when you do this division here. When you do that division, you might have a calculator that will turn it into a fraction. Well, I don't know what this is going to do. If it, Actually, that doesn't turn it into a mixed number, but you might have a calculator that will turn it into a mixed number for you. This would say, this would change this to 8 and 11 twelfths. Um, I don't know if I have this on here or not, but come on. No, not on here. Anyways, you might have a calculator that does that for you. However you do it here, you can turn it into 8 foot 11 inches. It's the same idea with any of these other ones here. Okay? Can you guys who are chatting away, please don't do that. If you're converting any of these things here, 233 feet to yards and feet, if you want to give it as yards and feet, you need this one's easier because you have to know your multiples of 3. If you if you divided that by three, or in other words, if you if you said 233 feet times one yard three feet, you know you have to divide by three. I know some of you realize right away you have to divide by three, but just to confirm, you realize the feet are canceling. You're going to be left with yards. If on your calculator, then you you divide that by three. Divide by 3, or times 1 divided by 3. You get the decimal for how many yards it is. It's 77.6666 yards. Okay? So you could say that. You could say 77.66 yards. If you want it as yards and feet, yards and feet together, Right, with the leftover part expressed as feet, you might just recognize how many feet that is left over. If you get a decimal of 0.6666, what fraction of a yard is that as a fraction? 0.666? What's that as a fraction? We don't know. Well, if you don't know, what you can do is, again, take away the yards, the whole number of yards, and leave the leftover part. And then do the opposite times by three again. You'll get how many how many feet are left over, right? I mean, it's 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 two left over, right? If you do if you did 231 <coughs> feet divided by three, it's exactly 77 yards. If you did 232 divided by three, it's 77 and a third, one foot, right? If you do 233 divided by three you get 77.666, 77 yards and 2 feet. If you did 234, what's it going to tell me? It's going to be what? Yeah, it's actually going to be, if it's 0.999999, it's actually just 78, right? The next one up. Every, you know, when you're dividing by 3, you're going to get, if a number's a whole number, if it's a multiple of 3, then the next two are going to be 1 third, 2 third, and then the next one. So this is this is 77 yards, 77 yards, two feet. Okay. You can express it as a decimal. If it says this, you got to express it as both.